Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome to the video. So in this video, I'm going to be going over some updates from last week's stock picks, how they're performing, and my plan moving forward, and also going to be going through some new trade setups that I like a lot, and going through the thesis on those. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. Alright, so first off, let's talk about Ocean Power Technologies, ticker symbol OPTT. So this had a pretty stagnant day, it hadn't moved much, it was on a slow downtrend, and then towards the end of the day, we got a huge volume pop, a huge pop in stock price, and then after hours, we went on another huge run, and currently is trading right around $3.30. So taking a look at the chart, we can see that this chart is getting ready to test once again that big resistance level that we've been looking at, at $3.50. So this trade is playing out very, very nicely right now. What is my plan moving forward on this trade? So I'm looking to see if this can keep the big volume up, the big run up into tomorrow. If we can test that $3.50 resistance line, get that breakout, I do think this stock has a pretty good chance of going to $5 plus, and I'll ride that up for the upside. On the other hand, it could easily get rejected once again at $3.50, trend back down to that trend line on the ascending triangle. So if that scenario plays out, I'll look to take profits right around where it gets rejected at $3.50, wait for it to trend back down to the trend line, buy back in and see if we can get that next breakout above $3.50 finally. Now, it is up a good amount since they call out. If you got in this stock at the 270 range, you can never go wrong taking profits. Now we may get that huge breakout up to $5 plus, like I've been talking about, but we may not. So it never hurts to secure profits. Nobody ever went broke taking profits. So keep that in mind. But on the other hand, there is a lot more upside if it can break out of $3.50. So do what's ever best for you, either take profits or for the upside. It all depends on your risk tolerance and what you're looking for out of this trade overall. But so far, this is a big winner for the week and looking very strong moving forward. All right, so next up, we got a huge pop after hours. Another stock I talked about this past weekend on Sunday. And this is the company Canoe, ticker symbol G-O-E-V. Now, there's been a ton of rumors that I've been talking about. I've been saying that I think that Apple has a chance to partner with this company. I talked about that on the Sunday video. And take a look at the article that came out today. So this article says, exclusive, Apple held talks with EV startup Canoe in 2020. So ultimately, the talks fell apart, and Canoe has since become publicly traded. But the catch is, the talks with Apple came at a crucial time for Canoe, which lost $182 million in 2019, while working on its first prototype vehicle and entering 2020 with just $29 million in the bank. So now, after the SPAC merger, Canoe now has the money that it was looking for at the beginning of 2020, and this article says that it has not softened its ambitions to work with big companies like Apple. The startup says that in the same SEC filing that it's currently in discussions with, with multiple other blue chip industry participants interested in leveraging Canoe's technologies and engineering expertise for their own commercial products. So that is absolutely huge right there. Canoe is also expected to present at an upcoming conference. That could be huge. Some hints about Apple could be coming out. And if Canoe was to partner with Apple, which is a pretty reasonable scenario after this article comes out, now we can see that it did not, the talks did not go through because of what Canoe was going for at the time. But right now, Canoe has the funding that their feet under them to where they can make a big deal like that. And I would not be surprised to see Apple use their skateboard technology. Like I was saying in the Sunday video, their skateboard technology reminds me a lot about what an Apple product would look like and just the futuristic, minimalistic design that Canoe had in their vehicles. That reminds me a lot of just the Apple product and what an Apple car would look like if they were to go through with this partnership. So this stock is obviously taking off after hours, up over 20% after hours. Now I have not sold a single share because I believe if any news does come out that the partnership with Apple does follow through and is confirmed, I think this stock goes easily to $30 plus and we could pretty easily see a run up to the $30 range in my personal opinion. Apple being the largest company in the world, Canoe being a small EV maker with pretty cool looking cars but not much more than that, if they got this partnership with Apple, that is a game changing for the company and this company could be massive going in the future. Apple car could be a huge competitor to the big companies like Tesla and other vehicles like that. We know that Apple, if they're getting into a space, they're going to be looking to dominate the space. Alright, so another stock that I've been calling out the past two weeks, Fubo TV, ticker symbol FUBO. We had big news today that Fubo TV acquires Balto Sports as a first step into online sports wagering market. So we got this news. This is the catalyst that we needed to get that break of the $30 resistance line. I've been talking about that if we get that break over $30, I think we're headed to $35. So today we got that short squeeze with that 40% short float that I've been talking about. So we got that short squeeze, we got that breakout, and we got a massive run up almost 35% for the day. And overall, getting up to highs, testing that $37 resistance line. So I ended up taking the majority of profits 
on my position today on this huge 35% pop. Because it did hit my price target, I'll take gains on a 35% day any day. Now, I am still holding a very small amount of shares through to see if we can break above this next resistance line, possibly get back up above that $40 range. Now, it is speculative. This stock may be due for a pullback after the big day today, but it could go either way. This is a big acquisition, and Fubo TV is making big moves overall. Very, very hyped up company, and still a pretty high short float. So, this does have more upside, but in my opinion, it may be due for a pullback. So, for that reason, I did take profits and did secure gains on the price target getting hit. All right, so next up, the next stock that I talked about on the Sunday video was Tattoo Chef, ticker symbol TTCF. So we talked about this cup and handle formation, and when we break above this trend line, we will get a massive breakout. And what did we get today? We got that breakout out of the trend line. Now for this stock, I'm still holding my full position because I do believe if we can get above that $26.50 for this level, I think we could see very easily $30 plus leading to earnings, which is expected to be right now the second week of February. So leading to that, we could see a lot of hype that could be a potential positive catalyst leading in. And I could see Tattooed Chef going on a big run from here after this consolidation phase, after this pattern breakout. Getting over $26.50 is the key level for that next leg up. So that's what I'm watching for moving forward. But overall, this trade is playing out very nicely right now. All right, so the next stock that I talked about in the Sunday video was Ligand Pharmaceuticals, ticker symbol LGND. We talked about how this is the second most heaviest shorted stock in the entire stock market. So right now this stock is breaking over this $107 resistance line and it does look to be holding pretty steadily. Now if this uptrend does continue, I see a huge run in this stock's future. Now obviously it could end up dropping back down below this support level. So that's what I'm watching for. I think we're due for a big move very, very soon. With over 100% short float and over 67% of the total shares shorted, these shorts will cover if this stock holds an uptrend and I'll be watching for a very big move. I would not be surprised to see this stock at $150 within the next month or so if this uptrend does hold. The next stock that I talked about in the Sunday video was Merimed, ticker symbol MRMD. This is having a very solid week itself, up 10% yesterday, up another 7% today. But like I've been saying, this is not a technical trade at all. This is a trade based on fundamentals in the hot sector. And for this trade, I'm looking for $1 plus, holding strong. I have not added any more yet, but I will be adding more on red days if it does trend back down to that support level. That's what I'll be adding heavy. And this is just one of my favorite trades overall. So it's holding very, very strong in Merimed, ticker symbol MRMD. And finally, the last call out from this Sunday's video was AMC. So we are getting that continued reversal off that support level right at $2. So as of right now, this stock is trading at $2.34. And like I've been talking about, my first target for this trade is $2.70. If it gets rejected there, I'll probably look to take profits, but we could break out of $2.70 and then have further upside if we break above that resistance level. So that's what I'm looking for overall on this trade. This trade has been very, very steady and had my original call out at $2.02 on Twitter. If you're not following me, make sure to follow me there. Also real quick, if you don't have an M1 Finance account, I do have a link below to get $34. By just opening an M1 Finance account, you couldn't go wrong with that free $30. By just opening an account, you have no other requirements to get that free $30. You can just open an account, take your money out, and then move on, get $30 for free. Can't go wrong with that. So that link is down below. It does help support the channel. It is an affiliate link. Also, if you want to join the private Discord, that should be the top link in the description. Every time I buy and sell a stock, I send alerts to the group. I answer any questions you have, nightly watch lists, and you have access to my full portfolio. So that's the first link in the description. All right, so now let's talk about some trades that I like moving forward and some stocks I'm looking to buy. All right, so in the past week, we've seen some big moves from CCIV, which is expected to be merging with Lucid Motors. Absolutely huge move down from $10 all the way up to a high of $16. And then also last week, we saw IPOE get that merger with SoFi, popping all the way from about $12 all the way up to $22. Now, like I talked about in last week's video, two of the pre-merger target SPACs that I'm loving a ton right now are FUSE and VGAC. So as of right now, Fusion Acquisition Corp, ticker symbol FUSE, this is currently trading for $11.25, and VGAC, this one is trading for $11.69. Now, taking a look at the warrant prices, we can see that even though the comments for VGAC are more expensive, the warrants are cheaper. So the warrants for VGAC are currently trading for $2.00, and 64 cents and the warrants for FUSE are trading above two dollars and 70 cents right at two dollars and 74 cents so right now like i've been saying these are my top two pre-target SPACs and my main focus overall my favorite value with the best upside is the vgac warrants under 270 i think that is an absolute seal under three dollars is a seal in my opinion but the valuation at two dollars and 64 cents 
I think these warrants will easily be above $6 per warrant when the merger does come out. And while right now we do not have a time span yet, but we could get merger news tomorrow or we could get it in a month. It's impossible to know, it's just a guess. But if you hold these and you're patient, I think we easily see a 2x with these warrants and potentially a 3x, judging by the recent movement by the warrants at IPOE and CCIV. I think some very, very big moves are due for these two companies. And if you're patient, this is not any short-term trade. This is not a weak swing trade. This is a trade that you buy and hold, wait for news to come out. But when that news does come out, these stocks will go to $20 plus in my opinion. And these warrants will go $6 plus easily, potentially $10 plus if the right acquisition is had. Now, if FUSE does end up getting BlockFi, I think that stock goes to $30. And if VGAC ends up taking Virgin Hyperloop on the market, I think that stock easily goes to $30 plus as well. And in that scenario, warrants be $18 plus, which would be almost a 10X from current price. So obviously, this is just my guesses, but when we do get merger news, like we've seen recently with those two examples that I've been showing, when we do get that news, these stocks are going to be absolutely taking off. And many, many people are going to be regretting and wishing that they bought and held these two stocks and we're patient with these. All right, so now taking a look at a couple more trade setups. I'm starting like Twitter, ticker symbol TWTR on this dip. So it, does, it is still holding this long-term uptrend and this trend line is what I'm looking to buy at. If it was to trend down, down to the $46 level, bounce off this trend line, that is a perfect entry in my opinion for a run back to $50 plus. So that's what I'm looking for. I'm not gonna force an entry because as of right now, it is looking like a falling knife. But if it does downtrend to this trend line, bounce off, Perfect entry and I'll be looking to get into some call options and some shares as well. Next up, Facebook, ticker symbol FB. This has been taking a massive dump the past couple of days because of the whole situation going on with social media and Donald Trump and everything like that. But in the past, we've seen so many lawsuits against Facebook. Facebook as a company has been through a ton. But every moment of the fear of the lawsuit, every moment with people panic selling this stock, this stock is always recovered in a big way. The revenue, the fundamentals, you just can't go wrong with this stock. This stock is a growth beast. It's a tech giant and it's not going to slow down anytime soon. So in my opinion, any dip in Facebook is a buy. Buy shares for the long term, buy short term calls for the balance. Either way, I think this stock is going to be a big money maker very, very soon. A reversal is due and I'm looking to average in on every single red day moving forward and looking to add February calls personally. That's my plan moving forward. And I do think Facebook will have a big move off these very low levels. All right, so next up, Amazon, ticker symbol AMZN. I have a thesis that this stock has a pretty good chance of hitting all-time highs within a month or so. So a couple catalysts coming up. So we have earnings coming up. This is expected and estimated right now to be on February 2nd, these earnings. So these earnings will involve holiday sales, which are gonna be massive in my opinion. I think these are gonna be the biggest earnings yet for Amazon. So also right now, Elon Musk has turned into the richest man in the world. This has gotta piss off Jeff Bezos just a little bit. So if he decides to do a stock split, which he will do if he likes money, now it could be this quarter, it could be a year, it could be two years from now, it's just speculation. But if he's pissed off, he does a stock split, he wants to be the richest man in the world again. We could see a huge move in Amazon. Now remember when Apple and Tesla did a stock split, we could see the same type of move if Amazon was to do a 10 for one stock split. Now of course it's just speculation, but that is a possibility of a catalyst coming up. But overall, taking a look at Amazon's chart, this stock has been consolidating for the past six months while all these other stocks have been taking off. Amazon has just been stagnant. Now I think Amazon is due for a big breakout, a big move very, very soon. So as of right now, I'm averaging into February 19th call options because I do think there'll be a ton of hype leading to earnings. I think there's a good chance that Amazon hits all time highs. $3,500 plus could easily happen in my opinion. And I think that Amazon is just disrespected in the big tech space a lot because the stock price is so high and they have not done a stock split yet which may change very, very soon in my opinion. So those are my thoughts on Amazon, ticker symbol AMCN. I do think a big move is due soon. So next up, Alibaba, ticker symbol BABA. So as of right now, this chart is forming a descending triangle. So I do have a stop loss if it does drop below $225 per share. But if it does break out of this descending triangle, I think we see an easy move back up to the $240 to $250 range. I think we get a very big and quick move if it does start breaking out. Now it could easily dump off from here, but overall, fundamentally, this stock is very, very undervalued, oversold and all the China fear, but just watch out for the breakout. If this stock does break out, a big move is upon us. Now it could either have a big move downwards or a big move upwards, so I do have a tight stop loss in this stock, but I'm really liking Alibaba at current levels. So next up, a stock I'm liking a ton right now is Karyo Farm Therapeutics, ticker symbol KPTI. 
So this is a growth company that has been consolidating within this wedge for the past couple months. Now this is getting you right back into the buy zone. It was down massively yesterday, down 10%, down another almost 5% today, and it's getting ready to balance right again off this trend line. I think that we do get a balance and just watching for a breakout above that trend line resistance. If we do get that breakout after the balance above that trend line, I think we get a massive move because the stock is so heavily shorted. So as of right now, the stock is respecting its pattern, but I do expect a big breakout very, very soon. And as of right now, it's due for a balance. So I'm loving it personally after being oversold, getting ready to balance right off the trend line. This is looking very good to me right now. Next up, Jinko Solar, ticker symbol JKS. This has bounced repeatedly off the $65 support level. And right now we do know that solar is the hot sector, renewable energy, clean energy, everything is taking off in this space. JKS is charging my personal favorite. I think it's due for an easy balance off this $60 level. So I'm adding this stock anytime that it gets close to $65, add it more today and we'll look to average in because I do think this stock is due for at least $70 plus, if not $80 to $90 within the next couple of weeks. Next up, Romeo Power Incorporated, ticker symbol RMO. So this stock has been heavily beat down. This is the same exact pattern we saw with Fubo. This stock is heavily shorted as well. So we have support level, we're right at $18 per share, resistance slash breakout level, we're right at $22 per share. So I'm slowly accumulating shares for this position as I think a breakout is bound to happen. This is an EV battery supplier. As we know, that's a very hot space overall. And I see the same exact scenario playing out that we saw with Fubo. The breakout over $22 does send the stock potentially up to $30 plus and a big move slash breakout is bound to happen in my personal opinion. All right, so the last stock is Syrup to Therapeutics, ticker symbol SRPT. So this stock had a massive dump down from $180 all the way down to $80 and now has bounced off. And this stock currently does have pretty solid support that it has established at $85 per share. So anytime this stock gets close to $85, I'm looking to slowly add, potentially add some call options if it does get to 85 and bounce off that level. Judging by past price action, every time this stock is taking a big dump because of the failed trials and everything that happened with this company in the past week, but every time it has dropped down to this level, it has had a big reversal and it happened very, very quickly. So I do expect this reversal to continue. Any price close to $85 is a heavy buying opportunity in my personal opinion. And this is stock that ARK has been buying heavily. They increased the position by 300% on that big drop off down at $80. So if ARK is buying, you know that other investors are gonna be excited, other traders, everybody follows what ARK does. So with ARK buying, more investors and traders are gonna be flooding in and this stock will have a pretty solid recovery over $100 in my personal opinion over the next couple of weeks. So this is a big buying opportunity in my opinion for a reversal and oversold play. All right, hope you all enjoyed the video. Hope you guys made some money on those Sunday stock picks. Subscribe and like the video if you haven't already. It does help me out a ton and I would appreciate that. Check the links down below if you wanna get some free money from those affiliate links or if you wanna join the private Discord chat. That link is the first link in the description. Thanks so much for watching all the way through and let's get rich, baby.